Hey guys, welcome back. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add uh, curve modifiers to your start and stop animations. Uh, so let's get started, right? I, I simply added some animations that I had here, or that I have here. Um, so this is pretty basic stuff. So it's simply for the walking only, and you can replicate my actions here for the jogging and whatever else you need so i all i have is these uh forward backward left and right for start and stop as well as you can see so this is start this is stop and these are my cycles the first thing that we'll need to do is highlight all of your animations right click head to asset actions and bulk via bulk edit via property matrix I'm going to uh, drop the root motion tab down and ensure that root motion, enable root motion is checked and force root lock is also checked. Now let's save all. Um, the next step is using our own character. So as you can see, this, this is the UE4 mannequin. And if I hit play, you can see we're using the UE5. I'm going to show you how to uh, find a few solutions for your own custom skeleton as well to ensure the uh, the orientation warping is working just fine. So what we're going to do is retarget our current animation blueprint. So this project, by the way, is from my Patreon, but you can follow along from the YouTube series as well. It's exactly the same thing or more or less very close. So I'm going to head open to my folder where my animation blueprint is located and I'm going to retarget this so retarget animation assets duplicate and retarget animation blueprint and I'm going to select the UE5 to UE4 retargeter I'm going to select this change here so I can add a new folder for this and I'm going to call this UE4 ABP for animation blueprint hit OK and this will retarget all of the animations that it already has slotted in the animation grouping that you have for your UE5 so if you have none it will create none um, and that could be a good thing but if you already have the animus that's okay as well so you can simply hit retarget it will take a bit of time a few seconds maybe and um, once that is completed you will have all of the Lyra animations here as well retargeted to your UE4 mesh so I'm going to show you what issue we may have with this. So I'm going to select my character, my third person character and open it up. And I'm going to change the mesh to our UE4 mesh. And I'm going to select our new ABP base for UE4. If I hit play and I try to move around, you can see he does not, uh, know how to use the orientation warping so yeah forward right forward left he's still going forward now to fix this we need to open the abp base for our ue form uh, skeleton and head to the m graph as you can see we have a few errors here due to the orientation warping so in our atom graph in our base locomotion uh, graph or wherever you, you are in our movement start state I'm simply going to remove all of these comments to make things easier so all of the orientation warping nodes that you see has a warning this is due to a lack of spine bones in the UE5 so I'm just gonna search for this real quick so I'm gonna open the UE4 mannequin and the UE5 skeleton. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five spine bones, and in our UE4 skeleton, we have only three. And that is what is causing this error. So I'm going to highlight all of these orientation war uh, warping nodes, and I'm going to delete all of the spine bones, and now I'm going to add three more. 
So I'm going to select spine one, two, and three. We need to do this exact same process, uh, this step for the cycle and the stop states as well. So I'm just going to do those real quick. Highlight all of them, delete and add the amount that we need. So one, two, and three. Let's move on to our last state. If I hit compile, that error should go away. Now, as you can see, if I hit play, he can now use the orientation warping node. All right, so now let's replace the animations. So in our class defaults, um, where we have all of our animations, I categorize this in the Patreon project, not on the YouTube one, but um, wherever you have your animations for all of these, you can do so. You won't have like the jumps and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, anyway. So for our idle, we need to replace this with our animation. So I'm going to simply search for uh, my animations here. I'm going to slot in my idle, compile, and now you can see it's as easy as that. Don't you worry about it turning in place just yet, but he will go back to the idle state that we just inserted. Now let's go for the walks because since that's all we will be doing in this video for our walking state. Uh, walk start so I'm going to search for walk start so walk start forward backward left and right now let's do the same for the cycles so I'm going to remove this search here and get our walk forward backward left and right Now let's do the same for our stops. So I'm just going to enter stop. Forward, backward, left and right. Compile and save. Now if I hit play. Oh, we didn't set in your component on begin play. You will update gate. I did this in the character blueprint for the Patreon project, uh, but it really doesn't matter. You can use this exact same thing for the in in your uh, your component. So on begin play, I'm going to change the desired gate from jog to walk. And now let's test it out. Now he's playing the animations, and as you can see, we have some issues. So what I'm going to do is disable debugging by highlighting my stride warping node and resetting all of these debug uh, options here. Same for cycle. And the same for stop. As I know some, some of you wanted to know how to disable debugging. Now let's hit play and see our options or well, our faults bugs clearly so we have some issues so there's a bit of snappiness to when he starts and he's also sliding and he does not play the stopping animations he freezes in frame now to fix this the first issue is the transition from start to cycle it's a bit snappy so I'm going to highlight this transition and instead of 0.3, since that it's taking 0.3 seconds to transition and since our start animations are a lot shorter, so like it's really short, I'm going to set the duration to 0.1 so it will now take 0.1 second to transition. So that's a lot better here, but there is still room for improvement. Um, now let's fi fix the foot sliding issue. So head to your components, gate settings. I'm going to head to my walking state. In my acceleration, I'm going to set that to something like 
250 and my let's see okay so the acceleration is fine i'm gonna set that to 200 and my movement speed since the, these animations are a lot slower than the lyra anims i'm gonna set my movement speed to 120. all right so that's a lot better as you can see there are little to no foot sliding now we still have the stopping issue um this could be due to the braking deceleration so i'm going to lower this to 100 and let's see what happens he is still stuck now i'm going to show you how to add curve modifiers to your animations uh this will work with your uh, any animations as long as your root motion is enabled your root bone is well animated as you can see here now it seems like he's in place but root motion is enabled and force rule lock is enabled as well but if you head to character animation and loop as you can see he is moving forward if i select my root bone you can see the root bone is being uh, animated now if i uncheck enable root motion the root bone does not move this is this is in place animations if you did not already know well this is what in place animations look like or the in place option so i'm going to enable root motion and i'm going to ensure you can see these animations are root motion based now you'll need these type of animations which most animations are to drive the distance matching so in our new anims folder i'm going to highlight all of our animations i'm going to right click and go to animation modifiers and we're going to add modifiers we're going to add a few and you can see we also we already have the three of them we have the foot sync modifier marker mod, um sync marker anim modifier sorry so this is for the foot syncing so i'm going to select our two uh, foot bones so i'm going to foot underscore l now again these are based on whatever skeleton you have so ensure that you set the correct name here and foot underscore r for the right foot now before hitting apply i'm going to add another modifier this is going to be the distance curve modifier and um, this is going to be our translation our axis xyz actually leave it as xy right and we're going to add the motion extractor modifier and this one is going to be our translation speed the axis is going to be x y and z and we're going to set a custom curve name and we're going to simply name this movement speed and we're going to hit apply this will take some time to add the curve modifiers to your animations save all and now if you open your animations you can see you have some curves i'm gonna open the start not the start uh the stop let's search for the stop walk forward stop and as you can see the distance curve goes from zero to whatever required value it is and the movement speed since this is a stopping animation it goes from a high end to a low end so it's, it's basically while moving into stopping so that's a better way to describe that for you the start will go the opposite so it will need to proceed forward so its distance curve will go upwards and since you are accelerating the movement speed will go upwards in curve as well now since all of these modifiers are added and you can hit play you can see the transition from start to cycle has been smoothed out thanks to the foot same modifiers and now he is playing the stopping animations just fine uh, but there's a slight jitter so what i'm going to do is instead of using this transition rule i'm going to override this with the automatic based rule and I'm gonna 
set the track duration to probably like 0.25 now these are the things that you need to adjust when uh, blending your own animations so like your transition rule from what state to whatever state and adding your curves and modifiers enabling root motion and all of that good stuff and now if I play you can move forward forward right forward forward left you can go left uh, backwards right thanks to the orientation warping and stride warping is adjusting as well and if I release you will go into the stopping state and back to the idle and it is now smoother it's better in the next video we're going to show you how to uh, add distance matching curves and modifiers to your turn in place animations so yeah guys that's it for this one see ya